Where's Cumulo? It's such a perfect day for flying! You're right, True. I love feeling the wind in my fur. Personally, Bartleby, I love the feeling of wind in my face! Time for our fantastical free falling loop and scoop. Let's do this. <laughs> You're the best, Cumulo. Yeah. You're right. Rainbow City does look extra pretty today, Cumulo. Wow, this is spectacular. Wouldn't it be great if everyone in Rainbow City could see the view from up here? Well, that reminds me. I'm working on a special surprise for everyone in Rainbow City. You made a giant fishy poof cracker? Ah, oh, thanks, True. Although, you know, if I ate the giant fishy poof cracker by myself, I would beat the world record, and then there wouldn't be enough left for the rest of the town, so I guess you really didn't think this thing through, True. Actually, I'm making something way better than that. It's just up ahead. <laughs> What is it? It's my fantastically fabulous boaty float. Oh, I get it. It's a boat that floats. Yup, way up in the sky. I'm building it so everyone can see the Rainbow Kingdom the way we see it. Just like when we fly with you, Cumulo. Uh -huh. I just need to finish a few last details. Need some help? It's okay. I got this. Oh, great. Well, I've got something I gotta finish, too. Hello, fishy poof crackers. This is good. It's okay. I got this. Hiya! <laughs> it's okay. I got this. Whoa! takes care of that. 101 ways to eat a fishy poof cracker. That's a world record, you know. Nailed it. So, what do you think? Well, I think I could have gone for 102, but... Uh... Oh, why not? I'm going for 102. Be right back. <laughs> okay, but don't take too long. We're ready to launch. Hi, True. Hi, Mila. Hey, Rocky. Is that your body float? Can we ride it? Can we? You bet. You'll be our very first passengers. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so how does this floaty go floaty? It's easy. First, I need to spin the left balancer. <laughs> then the right balancer. <laughs> and then I just need to lift the lifter to get you way up high. <laughs> and that's when I put on the safety brake so the boaty float doesn't fly away. Oh, okay. Well, let's go for a ride. Come on, Rocky. Prepare for liftoff. Left balancer, go. <laughs> this is a little tight. It's okay, Cumulo. I can do it myself. I'm gonna need my spanner, though. <laughs> Just apply a little pressure. Oh, there we go. Now for the right balancer. Go! Oh, Bartleby! Just in time. Watch this. Lifting the lifter. Now! Wow, your floaty float is really floaty, True. Yep, just as I planned. 
I've never seen a Bodie float like this before, but as far as Bodie floats go, yours is the Bodie floatiest. Thanks, Bartleby. This is awesome! <laughs> Look at it go! Hmm, that's a little higher than I thought it would go. Yeah, and it keeps going higher and 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 higher! I forgot the safety brake! <laughs> What's the opposite of got it? Don't got it. This is the best ride ever! You installed the get back down button, right, True? Actually, no, Bartleby. I didn't. So how are we gonna bring Mila and Rocky back down? We just need Cumulo to fly up there and get them. Cumulo! Oh, Cumulo! Oh, Cumulo! Oh, that's weird. Cumulo always shows up when you call. We'd better go look for her. Cumulo! Excuse me, have you seen Cumulo? Yeah, a oh, uh, white fluffy cloud about, um, this big? Hmm, a white fluffy cloud about that big, you say? Well, there's something in the bushes that matches that description. Yeah, that could be Cumulo, I guess. Thanks for your help. Come on, Bartleby! Cumulo! Why are you hiding? Woohoo! Oh, true! Oh, wow! The body float is so amazing! We're having so much fun! Hi, guys. Well, it sure sounds like they're having a lot of fun out there. We still need to get the body float down in case something goes wrong. Mila and Rocky are in trouble, and we need to get up to the body float. Can you fly us up there, Cumulo? <laughs> Did Cumulo get smaller? Did we get bigger? Something's different. <laughs> hmm, maybe you can't fly us up there after all. <laughs> Cumulo, don't go! <laughs> Whoa, she's really getting small. And she's raining. I've never seen her do that before. Neither have I. But lucky for you, you've got those awesome yellow boots. This is serious, Bartleby. We need wish help. To the wishing tree. But how are we going to get there without Cumulo? You're not going to like this, Bee. We're going to have to use our feet. <laughs> True, that's hilarious. You're funny. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Ready, B? On your mark, get set, go! Hey, wait for me! Yeah! We should have taken the bus! I don't think the bus goes to the wishing tree. Yeah, we should talk to the Rainbow King about that. There it is! Finally! Now we just have to make our way to the top. Should be easy. We made it! Not quite, Bartleby. Hey, we're here! Uh, almost. Aww. This has got to be the top. Just a little bit further now. <sighs> <sighs> we did it, Bartleby. I'm proud of us. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks, True. <gasps> v, we need wish help. True, Bartleby. What happened? My body float flew away with Mila and Rocky on it. And Cumulo started raining and, and shrinking. And then Cumulo ran away, but we found her. And then we couldn't fit on her, and then she tipped over and... We had to walk here, and I can hardly... Breathe. <sighs> Good idea. Okay, let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? First, we need to get Mila and Rocky safely back to the ground. They're stuck on the body float. But the problem is, I can't get it back down without Cumulo. What happened to Cumulo? Cumulo shrank super small. As small as us? And she ran away. So we need to find Cumulo and bring Mila, Rocky, and my body float back to safety. The 
wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Till you see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up is Floto. Floto! Amazing! It's a bubble wish that can float you as high up as you need to go. Perfect. We need to go as high as the Bodhi float, please. Floto! This is Zumi, a telescope wish. Zumi! Zumi can help you see tiny objects that are far away. Like tiny little cumulo. Welcome aboard, Zumi. It's easy to see you'll be a huge help. <laughs> zoom, 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 Zumi! I've been waiting for this one. This is Squashy, one of the rarest wishes of all. Squashy's so small. I think we might need Zumi to see it. Squashy! Aw, Squashy's so cute. Is your wish power to look adorable? Yes. Cute and mini, but also mighty. Don't be fooled by its size. Squashy is super powerful. Through the process of wishmosis, Squashy can soak up lots of water and then squeeze it back out through its porous epidermis. In other words, Squashy can squish. Yes, exactly. Just remember to shout, Squashy, squish. I'm sure all your wishes will be a big help. I can't wait to see you in action. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Good luck, True. Thanks, Z. Come on, Bartleby. Let's go find Cumulo. Thank you, Wishing Tree. Get up there before something goes wrong. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Floto. Wish come true. Floto, we need to get up to the Bodhi float. <laughs> Bubble us up, Floto. All these clouds look the same to me. Which one are Mila and Rocky hiding in? I don't know, but they've got to be around here somewhere. Ugh, I'm so bored! <laughs> what is this thing, anyway? Uh-oh! Uh -oh. flying way too fast now. Only Cumulo can fly that fast. Floto? Thanks for your help, but we need to get back down now. We've got to find Cumulo. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Floto. Time to pop back into my pack. Okay, this is the last place we saw Cumulo, when she was crying. Hey, look, True! Bubbles! These must be cloud tears. Bartleby, Cumulo must have gone this way. Let's go. The trail stops here. Cumulo! Where are you? I don't think we'll ever find her. We've looked everywhere. Don't cry, True. 
You'll find a way. You always do. Oh, well, thanks, B, but I'm not crying. A raindrop? Cumulo must be close. And I'll go where? She must have shrunk down so small that we can't see her. But maybe there's a way we can find her. Time for my second wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Zoomy. <laughs> wish come true. Hi, Zoomy. Can you help us find Cumulo? She's somewhere up in this tree. So silly. Let's expand on that. <laughs> what do you see, True? Uh, see anything? Nothing yet. Just a lot of leaves. <gasps> Cumulo! There you are. Thanks, Zoomy. I've got it from here. Back in the pack, please. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, but please don't hide, Cumulo. I need you. Hmm. I know I didn't ask for your help with the Bodhi float. It's just sometimes I think I can do things all by myself. That's how I am. But I was wrong. I'm sorry, Cumulo. I always need your help. Yeah, me too. We missed you, Cumulo. Hmm. Come on, Cumulo. That's it. I can't get the Bodhi float down and save Mila and Rocky without you. Rocky, do you want to go even faster? Ugh. We need to get you big again, Cumulo. And quick! What's the plan, True? I have one wish left. Squashy. <laughs> How's Squish Power gonna help Cumulo? I think I might have an idea. But we're going to have to find some water. Are you ready, Cumulo? Uh-huh. It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Squashy! Wish come true. Okay, Squashy. Let's get squishy with it. <laughs> Birding you. Whoa, that's a lot of water, Squashy. <laughs> squishy. Okay, Squashy. Now come over here to where Cumulo is. That's it. Nice and easy. Okay, Squashy. Squish! Ah. Cumulo! It's so good to have you back to normal. You look better than ever. Thanks for your help, Squashy. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Time to lose. Let's go, Cumulo! Bye! Hey, I want to try that! Don't get me wrong, I'm still having a lot of fun, but my arms are getting tired. I want to be that when I grow up. Okay, maybe it's time to stop. We're coming!
practice our parkour. Thanks, Cumulo. You were amazing. Yeah, great job, Cumulo. Well, True, it looks like we saved the day again. Except, um, the Bodhi float is broken. Can you fix it, True? I can, with the help from someone special. <laughs> Single file, please. Enjoy the ride. Keep your hands within the balloon rails at all times. Next, okay, yeah. Sorry, little helpers, but you've got to be at least this tall to ride. Well played. All aboard! How's it looking, Q? Almost ready, B. Just need to do one last thing. Okay, Cumulo, you've got this. Way to go, Cumulo! Woo woo, Sky Bloves! Z, a little early to be watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look. <laughs> sky blobs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Why, woo, woo. Ooh, I want to talk to them, too. Woo! 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 woo, woo. <laughs> I think they heard us. Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps his cool, you know? Big Sam Blubs! Biggie Blubs! Sky Biggies! This! This thing! <laughs> <laughs> they even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? Where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! And you Blobs have a safe migration north. Thanks, Kenya! Let's get this party started! These babies go and the music ends, right? Yeah! Okay, time to move with the groove. This cat ain't got hooves. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that kitty can dance. <gasps> B, look! <laughs> what? Something's wrong with the sky gloves. <laughs> Idea. Let's watch the festival from under here. In case you know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True. The sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the lantern festival is scaring them. That must be it. Because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the Sky Blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to.
to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Oh, Cumulo! Hi. Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B. But we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky, Bubs, please. Wee -woo -woo. Z, what are you doing? Trying to calm down the herd of sky blubs. Woo -wee -woo -woo. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> what did he say to them? What did you say to them? I need to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy, little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blobs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. How will you get the sky blobs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. What fantastic wishes! Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Ah, Tizway. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great! Tizway can help get the Sky Blubs to follow us too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar, how sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the sky blobs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Yes! <laughs> 
Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about sky blobs. We will. Come on, Bee. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh, no. Look how far they've flown already. We're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. Ooh. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. Poor baby Skyblub. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. the sky blobs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew. <gasps> side by? No, wait, side by! I want them to follow me, not Bartleby! What's happening? I'm tingly all over! <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling! <laughs> uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby! They're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Mm -hmm. Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until side by's wish power wears off, you are their mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? <laughs> oh! Get it down! Hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural! Now let's lead them home! Right, home! Um, Sky Blobs? Mm -hmm. Turn around, please! The chilly north is that a way? Mm. Gotta listen to your mother! Me! Come on, little blobbies! We're leaving the steamy stuff behind! Nice work, Mama Bee! Thanks, True! That's all in a day's work! <laughs> this trip will be a breeze! Huh? Mm -hmm. What? We're stopping? <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Oh, we're going to Happy Farming Valley, <laughs> whether we like it or not. Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy, that was terrifying. At least I didn't get <laughs> squished. Oh, no. Are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, Clouds! Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? True, why are you slobbering on me? No! Hey! So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time! Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, B. You like tangy tum-tums? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named Mama. Oh. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in? Fall in? It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. 
Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Get your tangy tum tum from your mum mum with the yum yums. <laughs> oh well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Izzy, we're having trouble feeding the Sky Blobs. They won't eat the tangy tum tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, are you okay, Bee? So much flubbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum-tums to fill those big bobby bellies. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's feeding time! <laughs> <laughs> nice baby feeding, Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact Sky Blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> Okay, little blob, let's get you and your family home. Chili North, here we come. Uh oh. Oh, well, what now? Are you thirsty? Itchy? Need a belly rub? What? What? She's just saying thank you, Mama. Oh, wow, you're welcome. Oh, Bartleby, <laughs> we're getting close to the festival. Uh oh. Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Sky Blobs! Cover your ears! Plug them good, darlings! Uh, it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, that means. Ready? Three, two, one. Lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns. Woo! 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 Lanterns scary! Lanterns very bad! Oh, no! Poor little sky blobs! Now the lanterns are scaring the blobs! Stay away from my babies! Lanterns away from my children! Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that! When they land or hit something, they pop! <laughs> With the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. <laughs> We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflect, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Deflect. Wish come true. Everyone. Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns. <laughs> it's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. <laughs> Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Great job, Deflect. Ah, Nothing to worry about here, Sky Blubs. Whew. Now back in the pack. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Sky Blubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those 
clothes? Storm clouds? Nah, my babies do not like those. But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Oh. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Tizway! Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. Yeah, that's a little too mellow. You have to hurry, Bee. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin flappy music oh. coming right up. <laughs> Sky Blob say you are the best. Baby Blob and all the rest. Sound off. <laughs> Glove call. Woo-wee, <laughs> woo-wee, woo-woo. Woo-wee, woo-wee, woo-woo. Woo-woo, woo-wee, woo-wee. Woo-wee, woo-wee, woo-wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blubs get home. Can you tum tum any blub? <laughs> Yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <laughs> Thanks, True. Well, side by his wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. Bartleby, side by's wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me for being me? Yep. Just like I do, Bartleby. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. Mount Tuff and Puff. Are we there yet? Almost. Ergen Snake promised it'll be worth the hike. Remember what they said? All I heard was, uh... <laughs> Actually, they said... <laughs> Which means Splashy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huffinpuff! Splashy Splashy Springs is supposed to be right next to it! Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not going to do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing?
Squishy Splashy Springs is spectacular! <laughs> 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 Gushing geysers look like so much fun! Well, playing around in that water might be fun, too. Come on, Bartleby! Let's go for a swim! Well, swimming's not really my thing. I'm a cat, you know. But sometimes you gotta dip your toes in and test the water. Literally. <gasps> cold! 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 <laughs> I think your toe's extra sensitive today. Trust me, you do not want to go in there. <laughs> Erg, you're a big furry yeti. It can't be that cold. <laughs> no. Yes, it can. It's freezing cold. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stick to the geysers today. I mean, what does a mad mountain even look like? You know what? He's gonna get you down. Hi! Yeah! 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 Mm. Whoa, no, please go ahead. I, I think I loosened it there for you a bit. I'm really sorry. I can't carry you all to safety with Cumulo. 
I'm going to need some wish help. Uh-huh. Wish help would be good, I think. Sit tight, everyone. To the wishing tree, please. Don't worry about us, True. Uncle Bartleby will keep these yetis entertained. Have no fear, my furry friends. Burning hot lava may be boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat. Yeah! <laughs> okay, the first one always gets burned. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks. Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave, uh, I don't know, um, want to do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Thanks, Genuo. Be right back. Fascinating. Z, Z, Mount Huff and Puff is erupting! Oh, hi, True. And I know, I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huffinpuff? Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad, but then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure. But Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest and Yeti village and all the critters that live in the forest. Blistering basalt. This is serious. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well... The first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, we have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready! Wishes. Now let's see what the Wishapedia says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Ah. Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava. Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi. I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huffinpuff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Wow. Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here, and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. <sighs> All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. Oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> uh... 
Yes, well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stoneworkers. <laughs> With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here, so uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Thermo! Wish come true! Hi, Thermo. Thermo! That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ah! Mom, mom, mom. Thermo! of lava headed straight for us. Can you dig a hole big enough to hold it all? No, we got it. Okay, Diggy Dug, let's get digging. Not true. The lava's getting really close. Let's get out of here. You saved the forest! Thanks for everything, Diggy Dug. Now tuck yourself in. It's not really a mad face. This is a mad face. Grrr! <laughs> times better if we took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to, to think of anything with all this r r rumbling going on. Phew. You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cue me Hi, Mount Huff 
Coffee Puff? <laughs> it's me again, True, and my best friend Bartleby. We come in peace. We can see you're really upset. Is it okay if we try to help? <laughs> okay. Well, whenever I'm upset, I take a deep breath like this. <sighs> Give it a try. <laughs> Better? <laughs> that log sticking in your side must hurt. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll get it out. But True, how are we going to do that? Well, I've still got one more wish. Elongi. I don't know. Elongi doesn't seem strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right. So let's have a think. Okay. Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? Great! It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Elongi! Wish come true! Hi, Elongi. Here's the plan. You're going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. <laughs> Can you do it? <laughs> You're the best, Elongi. Take us a little closer, please, Cumulo. would agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snake. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splishy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> ah, it's cold! <laughs> Not cold? Wait a minute. It's warm, like nature's bathtub. <sighs> now this is water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! <sighs>
Would you like a nice cold Zazuni juice, Bartleby? It's the best way to cool off on a hot day at the beach. Just don't get brain freeze. How can my brain freeze when my head's so nice and warm, True? <laughs> brain freeze is what it feels like when you drink cold drinks too fast. So sip it slowly. <laughs> brain, brain freeze! freeze. <sighs> Body freeze! Pa freeze! Tail freeze! Tail freeze, are you anyone? I got it, B! <laughs> Good, fantastic. <laughs> I'll go see if Rainbow King and his guards want some. It needs a grand entrance where I can welcome my visitors and plenty of windows to see the kingdom from. Oh, and don't forget the balcony. Oh. That's where I address my citizens. Mm -hmm. Thirsty, Your Majesty? Ah, oh, yes, thank you, True. My castle builders could use a break. Ice cold Zazuni juice. Oh. Mm. Don't drink it too fast, or else you'll get mm. brain freeze. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, a royal brain freeze. Oh, very refreshing. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does my sand castle look like my real rainbow castle? <laughs> Whoa! I can hardly tell them apart. Uh, what? Bartleby, did you finish the rest of the juice? <laughs> huh? What, me? No! What? Did I? Wait, let, let me check. No shivers, no chills, no brain freeze. Nope, wasn't me. Oh, hey, hey! <gasps> A sea blood? Oh, you're so cute! Did you drink all our juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I bet you just wanted to cool off a bit. <coughs> then let's go for a swim! <coughs> yeah, this shade sure does the trick. A sea blob that doesn't want to go in the sea? That's not sea blobby at all. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa! <coughs> I almost got blubbed big time! This is most unusual. Sea blubs hardly ever leave the water. Hmm. <gasps> the water's not cool at all. It's warm. Really warm. They're just trying to cool off in the shade. Maybe something's wrong with the living sea. Well then, we'd better check on it. Follow me. Come on, Barbie! <laughs> Living Sea? Oh, yes, we go way back. I knew it when it was just a little puddle. <laughs> oh, wide and wonderful Living Sea, I ask that you please meet with me. Whoa. Rainbow King, how good to see you. These are my friends, True and Bartleby. They're very eager to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. The living sea doesn't look very lively today. If you don't mind me asking, um, your wetness, are you feeling okay? The heat, it makes me sleepy. Heat makes me sleepy too. The living sea must be part cat. But your water is always cold, even on hot days. That is correct. A family of ice stars keep me nice and cool. Ice stars? Yes, they keep the living sea cool. Just like the ice cubes in Bartleby's Zazuni juice. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them out in the deep water. But I am not feeling them today. Shocking pink! If something happened to the ice stars... Then the living sea would get warm. Too warm for the sea creatures to live in. We'll go and check on the ice stars right away. Oh. That would be most appreciated. You're welcome. Whoa! We're gonna need a blubber sitter soon. Our poor sea friends. I must try and cool them down. Good idea, Your Majesty. And while you do that, 
Bartleby and I will find the ice stars. Oh, Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. Let's fly out over the deep water of the living sea, please. Bye-bye. Water, water everywhere! Boy, the living sea should really be called the mega gigantic humongous sea! I guess your point is it's a really big sea? <laughs> huh? Hey, but I do see a couple of sailboats. <gasps> Those aren't sailboats! They must be ice stars! What do you think would happen if I lick one? <laughs> you probably get the biggest brain freeze ever! <laughs> <laughs> they should be making the water cold. Are these ice stars working okay? I'll just give them my cat's paw test. Brr! Paw freeze again! Meow. Hey, but didn't the living sea say there was a whole family of ice stars? Hmm. It is a big sea. Let's keep looking. That's it. A gentle breeze will cool you off. Oh, careful now. There's enough shade for everyone. Oh, my. Now there's no shade for anyone. Oh. Are you all right, my little sea blob? <laughs> well, that was lucky. <laughs> We're going to have to find a new way to keep you shady and cool. <laughs> hmm, that gives me an idea. No ice stars this way, no ice stars that way, no ice stars every which way! Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. I might. Oh, oh. I've got you, B. Phew. Wait, I see one! Oh no, this is the ice star from earlier. I can see your paw print. Yeah, right! Wait a minute, there were two ice stars here before. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. We've looked everywhere and we still didn't find the other ice stars. And now we've even lost one. We need to figure this out and fast. Time for some wish help. Cumulo, to the wishing tree, please. Yeah! True, Bartleby, over here. Fern, engage blowing. <laughs> That's a fun way to keep cool. Fun and useful. I'm preparing the wishes for all types of weather. Windy weather, freezing weather, and sunny weather. Oh, so they'll be ready for all kinds of weather when they go out into the Rainbow <laughs> Kingdom with me. Exactly. That one's getting used to the cold. Don't get brain freeze. Oh, well, it passes. And this wish is getting used to hot, sunny days. Uh-oh, look out! Whoa! Whoa! I gotcha! <laughs> you okay, little buddy? Are you here to cool off, too? Actually, Z, we have to cool off the whole living sea. The ice stars are missing. Oh, no. So the living sea is getting warmer. The sea blobs are leaving the sea to cool off on the beach. That is serious. Let's have a think about this. We've been all over the living sea looking for the ice stars. But we couldn't find them. So maybe they went under the sea for some reason. That's very possible. So we need a wish to help us search underwater. And then we need to make sure the living sea stays cool until we can get the ice stars back on the job. Good thinking, Drew. You've got a plan and you're ready to do it. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wow. <laughs>
a fun group of wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about their powers. Your first wish is... Chillsy. It is a freeze wish that blasts super cold beams to flash freeze anything. That's perfect! It'll help us cool down the living sea until we can find the missing ice stars. Are you up for chilling the sea, Chillsy? That's a yes! But keep my tail out of this. Hasn't it shivered enough today? Oh. <laughs> Your next wish is... Bubba. It's an underwater wish that can help you breathe underwater, too. We've already searched above the sea. To search under it, we'll need all the help we can get. Yeah, the only time this cat touches water is if I'm out of Zazuni juice to drink. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> For your last wish, you have... Womping. It's a stomping wish. Nothing makes it happier than womping and stomping. I don't know how a stomping wish will help us find ice stars, but I'm glad to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Good luck, True Mortalby. Thanks, Z. There's a new sandcastle on the beach, and this one's even bigger! It looks like the Rainbow King found a way to cool off the sea flubs! <laughs> yes, I'm delighted that they're finally comfortable now. But if the living sea doesn't cool down soon, it's going to get very crowded in there. We haven't found the ice stars yet, Your Majesty. But we have our three wishes to help us. Let's go, Cumulo. <laughs> There it is! I'd know my paw print anywhere! Poor Ice Star, cooling the living sea all by yourself. We've brought you some help. Oh. All right, Chillsy. It's time to chill the living sea. Zip, zap, zoo, I trust you! Wake up, Chillsy! Wish come true! Hi, Chillsy. Let's see how far you can ice things over. Full power! <laughs> Great job, Chillsy. You can chill out now from all your chilling. So much better. <sighs> Thank you for the chill, True. You're welcome, Living Sea. But you're so big, we can't freeze all of you. It helps quite a bit. But without my ice stars, I cannot stay cool. We'll find the rest of the ice star family. I promise! <sighs> Okay, Cumulo, you keep looking for ice stars above the living sea while Bartleby and I look under it. Or, just thinking out loud here, Cumulo and I could stay up here. No soggy, drippy kitty that way. <laughs> oh, well, catch the cat again. <laughs> tail freeze again? Are you kidding me? I am not having a good tail day. Aww, another sea flub. I bet you want to be in the colder water here. Hey! Whoa! 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 No! Careful! We just made that ice! Aw, and I guess you want someone to play with, too. Why, oh, why do other creatures find me so irresistible? You are pretty cuddly, Beef. Why don't you keep little Blubby company while I go see if the missing ice stars are underwater? Bubba, time to do your stuff! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bubba! Wish come true! Hi, Bubba. Let's go under the sea. Good luck, True! Aw, don't worry, Ice Star. I'll find the rest of your family. A rope? 
What's a rope doing under the sea? <gasps> the ice star's being pulled away! Someone's taking it! Now, isn't this better than jumping around and cracking all the ice? <laughs> Do I look like a ball here? Put me down! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. I forgot to say gently. Oh, look. The last ice star is leaving. The last ice star is leaving? That's bad. This is worse. Hold me! Sea <laughs> Blob, where are you going? <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> hey, wait. What am I worried about? Ninja kitties can jump from ice floor to ice floor, right? <laughs> One, two, Ninja Cat, go! Hiya! Ha! 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 Stay dry, must stay dry, must stay dry! Huh? You're dry! Ugh. Oh, true. Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'd hug you, but, well, you have a big Baba helmet on. It's awkward. We'll have a big hug later, B. Okay. Right now, we have an ice star to catch. Yummy! Oh. Did you find any more ice stars, Cumulo? Mm -hmm. Neither did I, but I know what's going on now. The missing ice stars didn't sink or float away. They're being taken away. Taken? Why would someone want to take an ice star? I'm not sure. That's what we're going to find out. Bubba, thanks for helping me underwater. I know the ice star went this way, but I don't see it anymore. Hey, maybe my sea blood buddy saw it. Yes! Follow that pointing flipper! Look! There's a clue! A raft and some paddles, and they're still wet! This must be where they brought the ice star! Oh, well, something's making it cold around here. Do you hear that? The ice stars! They're all here! They are! Me! Excuse me? It's okay. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm True, and this is Bartleby. They're wondering how we found their cove. And I'm wondering how I know that. Bartleby? You speak... rockish? <laughs> well, a little. I mean, you know, cats are very good talkers. We followed you here. Are you the ones who moved the ice stars? They say they brought the ice stars here to cool down their home. They really like to play on the ice. But the ice stars belong in the living sea. Without them, it's too warm for the creatures who live in the water. <laughs> they say they're sorry. They just wanted to freeze the lagoon and go skating. They didn't know they were warming up the living sea. <laughs> But they sure cooled things down in here. All the ice stars in one spot might be too much, Chill. We have to move the ice stars out of here. Come on, everyone. All right, everyone, get ready. And pull! It's frozen solid! <laughs> we'll never get the ice stars out of here until things warm up again. And we only have one wish left, Womp It. How can a stomping wish help us warm up the canyon? Hmm. Wait. Maybe we don't need warmth. When the living sea was frozen, do you remember how the sea blob bounced on the ice and cracked it? Yeah, and then I almost got wet. Oh, yeah. Cats, don't forget stuff like that. Wombat could do the same thing. Uh. It can stomp and stomp until all the ice breaks. Then the ice stars will be free and we can get them out of here. I am Woo, stomping yeah! with joy at this idea! Time for some wish help. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Wampet! Wish come true! OK, 
Hey, Wompit. Ready to stomp it? <laughs> Let's get stomping! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're jumping up and down! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're stomping all around! With the Wompit Bam Slam, can you hear that sound? It's the Wompit Bam Slam of our big feet on the ground! Woo! Jumping up, jumping down! Pause her up, pause her down! Huge hop, Wompit Bob! Keep on going, don't you stop! With the Wompit Bam Slam, all smiles on a frown! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're breaking it down! With the Wompit Bam Slam, was there ever any doubt? That jumping up and down is what Wompit's all about! <laughs> our Wompit Stomping did it! All the icers are free! Time to get the Ice Star family back home to the living sea. How does the water feel now? Blop, blop. All nice and cool again. <laughs> <laughs> when winter comes and my surface is frozen, the rock creatures are welcome to come skating on me, True. Thank you, Living Sea. Did you hear that? Oh. It is such a relief to feel cool again. I feel a wave coming on. Whoa! <laughs> Bartleby, I thought cats and water don't mix. <laughs> they don't. Whoa! But the sea block got me covered. Whoa! They keep me nice and dry. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> For now. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Opponent, Master Pillow. We will meet again. Who's ready for a yummy surprise? Kitty Natty Ninja Cats are always ready for surprises. Ta da! Oh. Popped Peppy Peppers? That's like my fourth favorite snack. After, of course, Fishy Poof Crackers, Fishy Poof Crackers with Zesty Cheese, and Limited Edition Extra Light Poof Fishy Poof Crackers. Hold it. Popped Peppy Peppers? Check. Suzuni juice balls? Check. Bendy straws? Uncheck? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. And check. There. Everything's ready for the sleepover. Okay, back to snacking. Oh, bendy straws! I feel like a princess. <laughs> You never know when a real princess might show up. I'm here! Griselda! <laughs> it wouldn't be a party without you. I know. Where's Fruki? Fruki Kids is right here. <laughs> Care for an ice-cold Zazuni juice? Yes, please. But would you happen to have... A bendy straw? So thoughtful of you, True. Hello, party people! So far, so good. Everything's going just as planned. Now we're just waiting on the Rainbow King. That must be him now! Welcome, Rainbow King! Huh? Your Majesty? Well, uh, oh, <laughs> a lovely lavender evening to you, True and Bartleby. I'm so excited about your sleepover. I was just making sure I didn't forget anything important. Like my blankie, or my pillow, or, uh, hmm. Oh, wait, hey, if you need a toothbrush, I got lots. Oh, there's my tail cleaning brush. I was looking for that. Works like a charm. And I found my gum. Bubble chew. Mm. You want some? Ew! No thanks. No, it's not a toothbrush. I've got one of those. Oh, what could it be? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've got everything you could possibly need. Purple persimmons! True, your particular predisposition to planning is perfection personified. What he said! Thank you, Rainbow King. Please, come in! Rainbow King, welcome! Good to see you. <laughs> Well, that's it. Everybody's here. Check. Next up, 
our very last party plan. Aww. Aww. A delicious Nummo Berry pancake breakfast in the morning! Yay! All right, everybody. Let's get ready for bed. Justices, I just remember what I forgot to remember. My Moo Moo. I always have my Moo Moo with me at bedtime. Moo Moo? That's not on my list. Can you sleep without it? Well, it has helped me sleep every night for the last three or four hundred million years. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll just count little helpers <laughs> until I fall asleep. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, Wait, I skipped one. I'll start over. One, two. Rainbow King, do you want me to get your moo moo for you? It's no problem. Goodness, greenness, no. We'd have to go all the way to the Royal Greenhouse for my Moo Moo. That is pretty far to go. Uh, not to worry, True. I'll fall asleep soon. Okay. If you need anything, just ask. Good night, Rainbow King. Good night, True. Oh, Blue Bother. I mustn't keep everyone awake. I really don't like using sleeping spells. I, I, I can't remember why. Uh, but maybe just this once. Starry Blue, help me snooze. <sighs> I'm feeling snoozy already. <laughs> oh. Lovely summer rain, so refreshing. Bartleby, you're talking in your sleep again. So are you. <sighs> Fruki, you're flying! Huh? What? <gasps> True! Look out! <sighs> <sighs> What's going on? <gasps> Fruki kittens? Fruki! Oh, Fruki Wogons, come down! Gotcha! It's okay, Fruki Snuggles. You're safe with me now. Yes, you are. I definitely didn't plan for this. They're sleep floating. Fascinating. I've read about it. I never thought I'd see it in person. We should pull them down. No! Don't touch him. If you do... You'll sleep float, too. Can we wake them up? Guess not. <laughs> well, we can't just let them float around bumping into things. We need some rope. Or string. Or a butterfly net. Or a string. Or a super long straw. Mm. Or, or string. string. Good work, little helpers. Wait, where's the Rainbow King? He's there, going out the window. Moo, moo. 
Rainbow wake King, up, please wake, wake up! up. Majesty? Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! We need to catch up to him and wake him up. Oh, Cumulo! <sighs> Sorry to wake you, Cumulo, but we've got to go save the Rainbow King. Oh, wait. I forgot to get changed. Um, do we need to get changed too? Nope. Keep your PJs on. <laughs> We're still having a sleepover. I've just got to be ready for action. Good idea. Can you two take Griselda and Fruki back inside? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. <laughs> Metropolis is sleep floating. Fascinating. Yeah, but Z, everyone in Rainbow City will sleep float right out of town. We need some wish help. And quick. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Z, where are you? I need your help. Uh, true. I'm right behind you. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. We need something bright to find Rainbow King and something to get the citizens down. Something sticky. This is sticky? Um, no thanks. And we need something loud to wake everyone up. If he wakes up too suddenly, maybe everyone will fall down. Right. I didn't think of that. So, uh, pillows! But everyone's still floating, so we do need something sticky. Tape? Glue! No. Hair gel. Ugh. Z, we need wishes. You're right. We do need wishes. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we don't know what will happen if we wake up the Rainbow King suddenly. The other sleep floaters might wake up too. And then fall down. So we'll have to bring everyone down safely first. Good thinking, True. And when everyone is down safely, we'll gently wake up the king and he can break the spell. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Snuggly. Snuggly. Snuggly's a blanket wish that can go big enough for lots of people to take a nap on. And if you sing a lullaby, it'll act like a magnet to anyone who's asleep. You'll be perfect for gathering everyone and keeping them safe and sound. <laughs> Your next wish is Woe Glow. Woe Glow is a light wish. You are exactly what we need on a dark night. <laughs> and for your last wish, Poingy, the bouncing wish. Poingy, Poingy. Poingy is great at bouncing on its own. <laughs> yeah, it's a cat thing. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> or you can jump onto it to bounce extra high. I'm not sure how a bouncing wish can help, but I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We've got to go save the Rainbow King. <laughs> Thank you, Wishing Tree. Oh, whoa! Watch out, Cumulo! Maybe it's just me, but this is way too many 
sleep floaters. I agree. It's going to be very hard to find the Rainbow King in this mess. I have an idea. Take us down to the park, please, Cumulo. <laughs> Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snuggly. Wish come true. Ready, Snuggly? Snuggly. <gasps> oh. Z, you said singing a lullaby makes Snuggly a magnet for anyone who's asleep, right? That's right. Well, let's get humming. Na na na. Snuggly to sleep. Snuggly's losing its power. No, no. Rainbow King! He needs to do something, or he'll float away with everyone. That would not be good. I can barely see him now. Huh? Who could be calling at this hour? <gasps> Rainbow King! No, no. He must have pocket bubbled me. Wake up, Rainbow King! Wake up, please! It's no use. Oh, Rainbow King, if only you could tell us what's wrong. Oh, Momo. Even just a clue. Momo. Two word phrase. You know, that points us in the right direction. Momo. Yeah, like that. Moo moo. That's what's wrong. Rainbow King always has his moo moo at bedtime, and he can't settle down without it. That's why he's sleep floating. We've been doing it all wrong. Instead of waking him up, we need to help him have a good night's sleep. Of course. More sleep is the answer to our sleep problem. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. All we have to do is get Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Cumulo! Come on, Bartleby. What? What? Do you, what do you... Go, go, Cumulo! To the Rainbow Castle! Okay, on a scale of one to dark, this is dark. How are we gonna find our way? I mean, I don't have that cat's can see in the dark thing. It's always been a great disappointment to me. I remember my mother once... Bartleby? She... Oh, sorry. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Woglo. <laughs> wish come true. You're up, Woglo. <laughs> Rainbow King said his moo moos in the royal greenhouse. This way. Here's the greenhouse. Hmm. Maybe the moo moo is some kind of plant. But there's got to be millions of them. How are we going to know which one is which? Fortunately, every plant is clearly labeled. All right. Let's go look for the Moo Moo plant. Okay, Moo Moo plant, uh, Moo Moo plant. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not this one. Ah! True! Wait for me! Not this one. It's not this one either. Or this one. <laughs> Maybe it's that viney one over there. Nope, not over here. Where is it? Hmm. Guys, look! Is that the Rainbow King? He's floating way too far. We need to find that Moo Moo fast. Oh, we've just looked everywhere, and there's nothing. Nothing but this giant flower pot. <gasps> this must be it! True, shine the light over here. It's the Moo Moo plant. The fruit of the Moo Moo plant gives off a soft glow and a gentle hum. That is helpful for sleeping. So, where's the fruit? Way up there! Now I understand why the wishing tree gave me Poingy. Here, Z, can you hold Woglo? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Poingy! Wish come true! Okay, Poingy, let's bounce. Poingy! <laughs> 
Ready? Let's bounce, bounce, bounce! Go, Boingy, go! Higher, Drew, higher! It's just out of reach. <sighs> How are we gonna get it, Drew? I've got an idea. Bartleby, I need some kitty natty help. I see where you're going with this, Drew. Let's try this again, Poingy. Uh, 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 ready, set. Okay, Bartleby, it's ninja time! Oh, wait! I'm a cat. <laughs> nice work, Bartleby. I'm very proud of myself. Thanks for your help, Poingy. You too, Woglo. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Okay, let's bring the Rainbow King his moo moo. Come on, Cumulo. <laughs> there he is! This will be tricky. If Rainbow King touches me and makes me sleep float, it's up to you two to save the Rainbow Kingdom. Ha! No pressure! Rainbow King! I have your moo moo! <laughs> the Rainbow King isn't sleep floating anymore! His moo moo must have broken the spell! <gasps> and look! It's working! All the sleep floaters are floating back home to their beds. We did it! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snuggly. You were super helpful. Mm. Tuck yourself back in the pack now. <sighs> Let's go home. I'm sleepy. Sleepy, but we're just getting started. We just saved this whole town. Let's celebrate! Phew, what a night. My sleepover didn't exactly go as planned. Yeah, but you saved the kingdom, True. You're my hero. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have Nummelberry pancakes to enjoy in the morning. You're right. This was a pretty good sleepover after all. True? Mm. True! Wakey, wakey! Hmm? What? Hey, that smells like... Nummelberry pancakes! <laughs> we made them just for you. Thanks for saving everyone in Rainbow City. And you, you remembered how much I love bendy straws. Oh, thank you, True, for bringing my Moo Moo. Aw, thanks, everyone. Mmm, 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 that is so good. Bartleby, you've got to try some. Mmm, <laughs> best <laughs> pancakes <laughs> ever. Mmm, <laughs> so delicious. Queens of the day, and night. Ooh, I'm so excited to meet the day queen and the night queen! <laughs> Making the sun rise each day and the moon rise each night is such an amazing, incredible, wonderful, amazing... Did I already say amazing? Important job! It's amazing, all right. Sun comes up and I'm wide awake. Moon comes up and I'm... <laughs> The castle looks golden gorgeous. Oh, thank you for your help, True and Bartleby. You're welcome, welcome Rainbow, Rainbow King. King. And your timing couldn't be better. Here comes the Day Queen now. Whoa! Uh, True? You okay? True? True? Warmest greetings, Rainbow King. And you must be True and Bartleby. It's wonderful to finally meet you. You know me? She knows me! It's delightful!
wonderful to see you again, Your Majesty. And your sister, the Night Queen, should be here any minute. Rainbow King, why do the queens only visit at sunrise and sunset? The Day Queen's power comes from her brightness, Bartleby. It fades at night. So if she's away from sunshine too long, she won't have the energy to lift the sun each day. Just as the Night Queen must stay in darkness to lift the moon. So my sister and I can only be together at dawn and dusk. Oh, it's so sad. I get to see my best friend all the time. Aww. Oh, and speaking of, here comes... The Night Queen! Night Queen! How glorious that you're here! Day Queen! Seeing you is always the best part of my <laughs> evening. Thank you for inviting me, Rainbow King. You're welcome. Ah, you must be true. And Bartleby, I've heard so much about you. You've heard of me too? I... Wow. Oh, and here we go again. Night Queen, it's midnight marvelous to have you visit. And what a beautiful moonrise you've made. Though the Day Queen's sunset is marvelous as well. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Your Majesty. Nothing, Nothing beats, beats a perfect, perfect sunset. Moonrise. Oh, dear sister, surely you must agree the moonrise is more spectacular. I'm afraid I must disagree with you, sister. A sunset is the most beautiful. What do you think, True? Yes. Which one do you think is best? I, um, well, they're both great. <laughs> if only that were so. But clearly, my time is the best. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. A soft cool breeze and the moon aglow. Daytime simply can't compare. Compared to night, it's just so so. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing in calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is the best Night time. time. is the best the time. The blue sky. The night star. The sun. The moon. Oh, my. This is perfect. Crazy sky is perfect? Don't you see? We can finally be together all the time. I just have to stay on my side. Well, I stay on my side. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Everyone, please excuse us. I must finally convince my sister that daytime is the best time. I'm afraid that's impossible because nighttime is the best time. Goodbye. Goodbye. This, this is most unusual. Most unusual indeed. Maybe it'll be fine. Daytime and nighttime? At the same time? More like crazy time. A little, but it's okay, I think. Please, please go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe that worked. So tired. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Nothing can stop us now! See, you get the energy from the sun or nice, calming moonlight whenever you... Uh-oh. Looks like one of the buses fell asleep on the night side and the ones on the day side can't pass. What? <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Excuse me, bus. It's time to wake up. Tickle, tickle. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, B. Excuse me, bus, but could you please pull over so the other buses can get by? Oh, I get it. Oh! Oh, oh true. I, I need your help in the Happy Farming Valley. Sure thing, Farmer Monster. I'm on my way. Oh, Cumulus! <laughs> Come on, Bartleby! Whoa! 
Farmer Mosser. What's wrong? I know it's not too much sunshine. <laughs> Plants love sunshine. They sure do. All this sun was wonderful at first. My berry crop grew bigger and juicier than ever. Oh, giant berry. Where have you been all my life? But now, there's too much sun. My berries dry out just like that. <laughs> all that plump, delicious juiciness. Gone. Okay, maybe this half day, half night thing isn't working out. We can't leave the sky like this. Let's go explain the problem to the queens. They'll understand. Right? I still can't believe you're here! Be strong, True. Good day, True. And good night. I was just telling Day how lovely the night stars are. But they can't compare with the shimmering sun. Isn't that right? <coughs> True. Right. Thanks, B. Your Majesties, both day and night are amazing and everything. But could you please put the sky back the way it was? Please? Oh, True. But that would mean I couldn't be with my sister. Huh? The sun and the moon will stay where they are until we decide to change them. Which we won't. Ever. Uh, well, well, what now, True? I think we're gonna need some help. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! True, Bartleby. Look at the wishes. Half of them just fell asleep and the other half are full of energy. I don't know what's wrong. That's why we're here, Z. The Day Queen and the Night Queen stuck the sun and moon together. Now it's daytime and nighttime all the time. Most unusual. And I need some wish help to get the sky back to normal. Whoa, that is a problem. Come, let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> How can the wishing tree help? Well, I need a wish that can make the night side brighter and the day side darker. But even better would be a wish that can unstick the sun and moon completely. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. some fantastic wishes, True. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Flecto. Now, this is a wish you can really reflect on. <laughs> I don't get it. Moving on. Flecto is a mural wish that can show your reflection. It can also bounce light in any direction. Wow! Oh, hello, handsome. <laughs> that means Flecto could bounce sunshine from the day side of the kingdom onto the night side to make it more like daytime there. That will really brighten things up. Your second wish is Zeplo. It's a blimp wish. Zeplo can take in a lot of air and fly way up in the sky. Yeah, da, 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 da. Big and floaty wish. Hmm. 
Maybe I could use Zeplo to pull the sun and moon apart. Your third wish is Shumpi. It's a protection wish. It opens like an umbrella, but can bathe you in sunlight while it's stormy and dark around you. Or cover you in deep shade if you want out of the sun. Hmm. I'm not sure how that wish can help me unstick the sun and moon. Uh -huh. But I'll think of something. You always do, True. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> okay, bye, Z. Good luck, True and Bartleby. Okay, Bartleby, let's shed some light on Rainbow City. Flecto, it's time to reflect. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Oh, Wiggle, Flecto! Wish come true! Hi, Flecto. Are you ready to bounce some sunbeams? <laughs> Great! Let's go! <laughs> It's working, but our beam isn't big enough. Flecto, can you get bigger so I can bounce more light down to the night side? Uh -huh. <laughs> Morning, baby. <laughs> oh, it was good while it lasted. All right, uh -huh. back to work. Oh, that's it. We covered all of Rainbow City. Great work, Flecto. <laughs> You true, but neither will I. Oh, oh no! Phew! Thanks, Flecto. Z. True. I have bad news. Huh? I've made a model of the sun and the moon, and by my calculations, if they're not separated soon, they'll smush together into one big moon with no sunlight or moonlight at all. <gasps> we have to fix this. It's time to see if Zeplo can separate the sun and the moon. No, oh, I hope it works, True. Good luck! This time, we're gonna do it. <sighs> hey, we're falling. Wait, wait, probably just a dream. <sighs> it's not a dream, Bartleby! Cumulo fell asleep. Wake up, Cumulo! We have to steer Cumulo to the day side, so he wakes up. Lean with me, Bee. Lean! No! <laughs> Phew! Good work, Cumulo. <laughs> Come on! Time for some wish power! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Zeplo! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Zeplo. The sun and moon are stuck together. Can you help me fix it? Great. I'm going to guide you between them. Then you get really big and push them apart. Okay? Okay, Zeplo. Ready? Now, push! <gasps> Is it working? I only see Wish Tummy. <laughs> it's a nice tummy. Let's give Zeplo a helping push. Uh, uh. Oh no! Cumulo! Catch the wish! Gotcha! Are you okay, Zeplo? Wait a minute, Mama. Thanks for trying, but the sun and moon are just too big to be pushed apart. You should get some rest. True, how goes the wish work? Have you separated the sun and the moon? Not yet. Whatever you're trying next, True, we have to hurry or... Sun, moon! There's only one thing we can do now. We have to get the queens to help us. Didn't we already try that? We did. 
but we have to try harder. Thanks, Z! <laughs> Thank you both for meeting me. I know you love being together, and I love having you both together. But we have to fix the sky, your highnesses. What's the problem? Yes, we're having a wonderful time. But it's affecting the rest of the kingdom. <sighs> if you only could see both sides, you'd know. But I can't possibly travel to the night side. I'll lose my glow. And I certainly can't travel to the day side. I'll lose my darkness. Lose your glow. Lose your darkness. <gasps> I have a wish that can stop both those things from happening. I'll use Shumpi the protection wish to guard you from each other's time of day. Then I can take both of you anywhere in the kingdom to see what's going on. Well, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> You've both said your time of day is the best. But how will you know for sure unless you see both sides for yourselves? Huh. Well... When you put it that way, how could we say no? Great! Come on out, Shumpy! Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Shumpy! <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Shumpy! We need to get over to the day side of the kingdom. Can you protect the Night Queen for me? Ta da 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 da! <laughs> Oh, my! Fantastic! Cumulo! Huh? Huh? Hi, Cumulo! First stop is Happy Farming Valley. My word! Is it always so dry here? No. Happy Farming Valley is usually green and lush. But, oh, my glorious sunlight is drying it out. You always tell me how people are so happy during the day. No! But I don't see that, sister. Neither do I. It's terrible. Look, B, they're seeing the problem for themselves now. So right. You're doing great, Shumpy. Now can you protect the day queen and go to the night side? <laughs> How marvelous! Sunshine at night! Would you look at that? What's everyone doing on the ground? Are they sick? Oh no, they're just sleeping. But they should be doing that at home. In their beds. Sister, you always tell me how quiet and magical and enchanting the nighttime is. But, uh, I don't see any of that here. Neither do I. It's not right. It's working, True. Oh, don't fall asleep on me. Huh? Uh, right. Cumulo, back to the day side, please. Thanks, Cumulo. And thank you, Shumpy. <laughs> we see the problem now, True. Too much night is too much for anybody. And too much day isn't good either. It's time to make things right. Ready? Ready. The day is bright. The night is calm. Sun, moon, to where you belong! Another beautiful sunset. Thank you, queens. Daytime is a great time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. We run and skip and jump and play. It's a fun adventure time of day. <laughs> Nighttime is a great time. A soft, cool breeze, the moon in the glow. Get comfy, get back, it's quiet time. We wind things down and clear our minds. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbow. A soft summer shower. Relaxing and calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is a great Daytime time. Is a great time. The blue sky, the night stars, the sun, the moon. They're both the best time. I like us both being the best. Me too. True, you did it. What? Is that? It's a face bubble. You've never used one before? 
No. I think we found another way for you to see each other more. Here we go. Your Majesties, no matter where you are, you can talk to each other by face bubble. Oh, now I'll be able to see you in the nighttime. Oh, and I'll be able to see you in the daytime. Hugs. Oh. <laughs> this is the greatest day and night ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you soon. Bye. For now.